Welcome to the fascinating world of awful home internet Wi-Fi speeds. I'm sitting here about two feet away from my router. Let's go ahead and do a speed test. I am with Sparklight and let's see how this performs. I pay for a gigabit download and about 100 megabits per second upload and this is what we're getting over Wi-Fi sitting a foot and a half away from the router. It's an error. Their internet's awful, but we continuously have issues with their internet. So today I want to see if we can improve our Wi-Fi speeds drastically with a Wi-Fi mesh system. So let's get up, let's go to Best Buy, and let's go see if we can't find a system to bring back and get installed here at the house. So I've been doing a little bit of research and I'm really hoping that a mesh Wi-Fi system could be a solution to all of our problems here with our home internet speeds. But while doing a lot of the research, a lot of the videos seem to be almost too professional and or sponsored by the product they are using. So I really don't know where to get an honest review of on some of these systems when trying to look up reviews on YouTube. So I said, heck, why not? I can just make one, go to Best Buy, pick out a system, and give you as honest of a review as you can possibly get. Because if it doesn't work properly, I will hate on the product, and I will make sure I return it. So let's get ourselves over to Best Buy, and let's pick out a system. I'm kind of up in, up in the air about two different ones, but we'll see when we get there. Y'all come along. And a lot of y'all might be saying, hey, traffic light doctor, you're pretty handy, especially when it comes with networking devices and things like that. And heck, you could probably just get enough Cat5 or Cat6 cable from work to run it throughout your entire house, build a server room, get it all set up, hardwire in our equipment. But I rent right now and I'm trying to find a really good solution for a temporary place where I don't want to spend a few grand setting up everything. If I was living in a house or buying a house, it'd be one thing. That's probably the route I would want to go in the future where I have my own server room and can hardwire all of our devices and make multiple access points throughout the house. But because of the situation that we're in, I think this Wi-Fi mesh system will be plenty good enough for our situation. So some requirements on the device. One, want it to be an easy installation. Two, budget friendly. I want to make it relatable to everybody. So I'm going to really keep it, I'm going to try to keep it around $200 or less. I think that's relatable into, in the sense where maybe this is a product you guys would even want to go pick out. Or maybe this will even influence you to say, hey, my Wi-Fi has been pretty crappy. Maybe this is the perfect product for me. You got a couple hundred dollars to spare and spend into that expense and you go and make that happen. So, re relatable to y'all, easy installation, that's another thing, because I want to make it as simple as possible for your, you as well. And third thing, I would like to get Wi-Fi 6 or better. I don't think I'll get better with that budget, but, I mean, I'm poor myself, so I'm not gonna spend over a couple hundred dollars on this. I don't think it would be really worth it. So, Wi-Fi 6, if we can get it, I think we're gonna go with. I have made it to Best Buy. There is a Target and a Walmart around, but I don't think they're gonna have anything that I'm looking for there. So, hopefully this place does. Let's go check it out. This is what I'm looking at. This Linksys system, or this TP-Link. Really, I'm leaning towards this one. This one's $299. This guy right here is $159. Or 199 I mean, that's 200 bucks. It's almost essential to have the full router so that I can hook up multiple gaming PCs upstairs into it and then can move these around more. I'll go with this guy. I gotta put two of these in the same room and then move one downstairs. Hard pick, but I think I'm going with this guy. Let's get it. Wi-Fi 7 would be real cool, but not at that price point. I do have more affordable ones though, down here. Then I'd have to upgrade my modem and everything too, so I don't think I'm going that route. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, do not forget to hit like and also make sure to subscribe. Let's get right back into it. So we are back at home and we can do an unboxing of this Linksys Wi-Fi mesh system. Let's go ahead and get this box opened up and check out everything that's inside of it. With the help of Mr. Grinch over here, let's go ahead and get this box opened up. Not a lot of help from the bridge, but here we go. So this looks to be the router. Let's go ahead and pop this guy out. 
little quick start guide, but we're gonna ignore that because I don't like reading instructions. So we got the router here, got all the ports in the back. This is gonna go upstairs into the gaming room office area and it will connect both PCs. So that's where this one's intended, is upstairs in the room by the modem. All right, it also comes with what looks to be the cheapest Cat5 cable ever. We're not gonna use that at all. We'll give it to the Grinch over there. Not gonna be needed. And here is the power adapter that we're gonna plug into the wall and we'll power that device. Set that aside. Let's take this guy out. Let's take this out. There was nothing in that brown side. I was trying to open. And here we go. We got two little nodes for this mesh system. Here they are. They are pretty small, which is pretty nice. They're going to be real discreet. Barely even going to notice this guy sitting over by the TV or sitting downstairs, upstairs, wherever. And... Man, I got big hands, but man, my hands are a lot bigger than the device is right here. So pretty small size device. Some may call this average and I agree with them. Set that to the side and then we can go start installing the nodes and we can go get this router installed upstairs. All right, guys, we are back in the office. As you can see, I have a gaming PC over here set up for my wife. And then this is mine over here. We play Fortnite together. We even stream it sometimes. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to comment down below and let me know. And maybe I'll do that a lot more often. But we are going to be replacing this old Netgear router. And we're gonna be upgrading to this Linksa and setting up some nodes around the house to hopefully drastically improve our Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and get this guy disconnected and get this guy hooked up to our modem behind this PC. And let's do one final speed test while we have the Netgear router set up right here. And let's see what we get on our Wi-Fi. There it goes. And again, I do pay for a gigabit download and about 50 to 100 megabits per second upload. And this is what we're currently getting on our Wi-Fi. Go. So what did we get? We got a 27.8 megabits per second download and a 40.4 on the upload. That's horrendous. All of you should know that. I mean, when I was younger, that's something I dreamed of. But let's see if we can drastically improve that by setting up this new system here. Let me get this installed real quick. All right, we have everything plugged up and hooked up. One of the Cat6 cables is going to the modem right there. One's going to my PC, and then the other one's coming around and running to this PC here. So let's go ahead and boot this guy on. Got a little switch back here somewhere. Yep. Here we go, and we got a light, and now I think it needs a few seconds to boot up. And honestly, probably didn't need the instructions at all. It's hooked up. It went from a blue light to the white light. So that means it's got internet access from the modem to the router. And it is connected and it's working like it should. And now we can go set up some nodes. But first things first, I just got my phone connected to the Wi-Fi off of this guy. Let's do another speed test and let's see if it has already improved. And then we can go set these up around the house. Maybe I just had a horrible issue with my router because just by swapping it out, this link side device here from the other router, that Netgear one I have, is a massive improvement. So I'm already super stoked by that. I'm hoping it's gonna be helping a lot, but let's go ahead and I have some previous screenshots of speed tests around the house and let's go ahead and set up some of these nodes, especially downstairs, and I wanna see what kind of speed we get down there because if it's anything close to this, I'm gonna be stoked. About as easy as it can possibly get on the setup, literally scanned a QR code on this guy and it had my username and password and everything set up. It was all plug and play so far. There has been nothing but a breeze with this installation. Guys, they're not sponsoring this video. They're not paying me to say anything like this. I can't even pronounce their name. I can't pronounce the, the brand right here. Link C, Link Sci. I don't know. This is a real review. And guys, I'm really hoping this is going to help out and improve. And again, for less than $200 or around $200, that you get a mass improvement on your Wi-Fi, it's definitely worth looking into. Let's go downstairs and hook up one of these devices. Uh, so I have the little node set up here and it fits just perfectly behind the TV. Not even a noticeable 
and I'm going to do a speed test real quick and let's see the speeds that we get down here and compare to the speed test that I did this morning, which was pretty awful. So let me do that real quick and I'll show you. All right guys, and as you can see, we are getting 144 megabits per second download and close to 50 upload, which is a massive improvement from what we were getting this morning. So let me go back upstairs to the office and let me give you my thoughts and opinions on this. All right guys, back in the office. Now I wanna give you my thoughts and opinions on this and if it's a good investment or not. And for the installation process, I mean, it can't get any simpler than that. That was all plug and play. Literally had to do nothing but scan a QR code and I was connected to the device on my phone. And then all the other devices, it was as simple as just plugging it in and they automatically configured to the router upstairs. So installation is gonna be a 10 out of 10. That's as simple as it can possibly get. Next thing's gonna be price. There was some other Wi-Fi mesh systems there that were a bit cheaper. I don't know how they would have performed, but overall for price, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. It was only $200, which I feel, feel like if it vastly improves everything on our internet connections, then it's definitely worth it. Guys, again, not a sponsored video, nothing like that. If you're looking to improve your home's Wi-Fi, I highly recommend checking out a Wi-Fi mesh system. Try to go with a Wi-Fi 6 Plus. Uh, if you have a good enough modem and everything, maybe even do that Wi-Fi 7. And if you have the budget for it, it'd be pretty interesting and cool and see what you can get of Wi-Fi speeds of over a gigabit. As, at least what I'm seeing online. Definitely worth it in my opinion, and I'm excited to give this thing a good try. Maybe I'll do another follow-up video, maybe within 30 to 60 days, and give y'all a little bit more of a review after we got a lot more time using it. But overall, so far today, I am happy with my purchase. If you're looking for a good Wi-Fi mesh system, check out Linksy, Linksi, whatever you wanna call them. They, they have a pretty good product there and super easy on the installation. Didn't even have to download an app. I love anything where you don't have to download an app to just get it configured and set up on your phone. Check it out. I'm glad it worked here and hopefully it can work for you. And as always, thanks for watching.